Okay, hey guys, and welcome back to another episode on the Chameleon Craft server. I am back once again after being away for quite a long time. We are here in a tree. I'm not sure why I just thought it would be a good place to start the episode. But, I'm out of breath because I just ran up my stairs. Anyway, I think today is a good day to finally start. Oh my god, that creeper. How many arrows? I've got one arrow. Alright, this is a... What? Did he, did he literally just despawn as I was about to shoot the arrows? Wow. Anyway, today I thought we'd start work on the, uh, the world of the bookshop because a lot of people, mainly stealthy, have been asking to, um, uh, or have been asking when this thing was going to open. And I thought today would be quite good. Um, well, there's a block missing there. God, I need to really maintain this place. So what I've been doing off camera is uh, doing little things, adding signs around, uh, setting out chests. And things. This is the paying place. Um, it's literally just a hopper underneath, upstairs, and so on and so forth. Um, but what I mainly want to do today is sign all these chests up with um, prices and things. That was the main thing I was worried about was pricing because um, I didn't want to do things too cheap. I didn't want to do things too expensive so no one would, uh, you know, come in and buy stuff. But I think I've pretty much figured out price. Um, I don't really want to use diamonds because I've got too many diamonds. To be honest, I'm not going to run out of them anytime soon. But iron, I do lack on quite a bit. Um, I've got a little storage place down here, which is pretty good. Uh, just general supplies in here that help me build the, the shop. Um, I've sorted them into chests. Um, kind of sort of categories, so like efficiency and breaking, they kind of go together. Sharpness and smite, they go together. Power, I've got quite a few power books. Um, projection and proje projectile protection, which I really find hard to say. Aqua and feather falling, i only got two of them at the moment. Knocked back and smite. That really smite. Wait, hang on. Oh, I've already got smite. Okay, this will just be knocked back then. Let's just quickly do this. Um, I haven't got actually many. I can't type and talk. Oh my god, I cannot type and talk. Hang on. There you go. Jeez. So most of the books that I have are just level one books, and I really want to get some high level books as well. However, I don't want to storm them in the shop. So for example, down here will be the level ones and twos that are easy to get. Um, and then up here, I'm going to, oh, there's Andrew, he's gone. Uh, up here, I'm going to have signs on the chest to what I'm selling, but I'm not actually going to have the items in there because rare books are pretty rare and I don't want to go losing them. So what I want to do to start off this episode is, first of all, clean my inventory because it's full of so much crap. Um, get a load of books, get a load of lapis, and then work my way over to the uh, Enderman farm, which is actually over in that direction, I believe. Get a load of XP and do a load of level 1 enchanting. So, yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, so I just thought before I get over there, we might as well have a bit of a knit and natter. Bit of a chat. Oh my god, that's a lot of enemy. Bit of a chat about my channel and stuff. I know I really should do this in a separate video, but I just don't see much point, to be honest. If you want to if you wanna watch this, watch this. If you want to skip it, go ahead and skip. But um, I think I have mentioned this before about my upload schedule. I kind of... Um, I really misjudged, um, oh my god, I don't have any food on me, misjudged what would happen, um, with my YouTube schedule and college. I thought I had it all sussed, doing it all on Saturdays, but it gets to Saturdays and I just don't want to do anything. I just don't want to record, I mean, I've done work throughout the week, I just want to, like, sit back and relax rather than worrying about making, uh, YouTube videos. Um, I do still like making YouTube videos, I love it, I'm never gonna not not love it but um the problem is uh, sometimes i just don't feel motivated 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 oh my god um and i don't want to like force a video out if i'm gonna be not happy or be like yeah yeah oh yeah hi guys um there's right in here oh you know i want i want to be able to be happy so you guys know i'm happy and uh, not annoyed or anything like that so you are gonna get turned down because you're really loud very mobs post star creatures yeah, so that's that pretty much explained now. Um, I've got a couple more. I've got some new series started on my channel now. It's the Cops and Crims uh, game mode, which I really enjoy. I'm not very good at it, but I still enjoy it. And I think that should help me do videos a bit more. Um, lately, I've, I'm have i trying to crack down on my coursework for college at the moment. Because um, at the end of uh, last year, I did kind of slack slightly. Um, I suppose everyone does that really in education. Apart from if you're in GCSE level, you just tend to slack. At the end of every year, just because you know it's the end of the year, summer holidays coming up, and that tends to happen about Christmas time as well. So you expect more videos from me around Christmas time. That's all. Actually, no. I need to talk to you about that. What's happening Christmas? I'll make a separate video on this as well. Um, but Christmas time, if any, none of you are aware, 
see a craft file. Um, none of you are aware. Basically, I have a big passion for um, technical theatre. If you don't know what that is, that is pretty much um, lights, sound, stage management, and backstage stuff, basically. Um, and basically, I work for my. Or technically, I work as a, te a casual technician, which means I get employed doing this show um, at my local theatre. And I've been asked to work on the local pantomime, uh, which is on for about a month. Uh, so that's a month of pretty much constant work. That was good. Feather Falling 2 for level 1. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing at Christmas time. So there may be a definite decline in videos around that time of year. But hopefully I, uh, whenever I get free time, I'll record and uh, schedule upload. So this is something uh, I've been doing quite a bit. Just getting loads of level 1 books. Something I found out, you don't have to go click, shift click, drag one in, right click, go back down, click it. Shift click. That sounds really complicated, but all you've got to do, shift click on it, and it'll just put one into aut automatically. I never knew you could do that. I, I kind of makes sense, really. Just shift click out. I'm just literally just holding shift, doing stuff. So what I do here is I look at the top two levels uh, and see which one is probably more expensive than what people are going to buy. People don't usually buy projectile projection. Projection. I cannot say that word to save my life. They, you know, they're more likely to buy feather falling. So I do that. Um. Infinity level 30 now that is a good book level 30 so you know what I'm gonna not do that I'm not gonna enchant any books I'm gonna get that book and uh, put that in my rare chest so basically what I'm gonna do with that rare chest is um, if ever someone goes upstairs and sees that there is a uh, Infinity 1 book for sale I'll hide it somewhere most probably in a hidden chest or my other chest what the hell is that oh balls I'm starving oh god please be food in here please be food in here Oh, melons. Sweet, 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 sweet. Give me that melons. Give me the melons. So, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll put a sign upstairs or maybe a renamed item tag or renamed item or renamed book, possibly, actually. Uh, so it looks quite cool. Saying the name of the book, uh, what enchantment's got on it, and then if people want to buy it, they will message me or leave an order. Possibly leave an order. I just thought that on the top of my head. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, and then I'll give it to them privately because having Infinity 1 book laying around is... Not that I don't trust anyone on the server, but it... It's very easy to literally just click on and take for yourself. Um, not saying I would do that, but Infinity 1 is pretty hard to get, and I was just pretty lucky to get that. So yeah, that's what's going to happen with rare books. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about um, the books you can get where it kind of combines things that are really weird, like Infinity and in Efficiency. Possibly could just uh, sell those in the rares as well. But yeah, I'm going to finish off this, get a load more books, then meet you back at the uh, bookshop and start pricing things up. Okay, so we're back over at the shop, and I've started doing some pricing. You probably saw earlier that I've done the first two chests, but I'll quickly run over it. So this will be power one uh, to power two. I haven't got anything in there at the moment. Ten iron ingots for a power one book, fifteen iron ingots for a power two book. I think that's fair rather than doubling it up, because literally you could just buy um, two iron. You could buy two power ones for twenty iron ingots, or just get a power two straight away to get 15 if that makes sense. So I feel that's a good deal. I probably have messed up somewhere here, but uh, I feel that's quite a good deal. Um, then it probably goes up the same. I think that all these unbreaking efficiency and power of should be all the same because they're pretty easy to get. Uh, doing all the level in one enchantments actually kind of showed me how rare some of the books are. So uh, efficiency unbreaking, they're really not that rare. Uh, sharpness is not that rare. Smite is actually pretty rare uh, compared to like projection. Power is, power is just easy to get, like, power is the easiest book to get. Knockback, same. Uh, Agrofinity and Feather Falling, these now. I think these will be a bit more expensive because these are kind of rare. Got a few rare books as well. I've got a Feather Falling 2 book, which is it should really be in here with these guys. But it's kind of semi-rare. Feather Falling is just always good. And then I've got this beast of a book here, which is Infinity 1, Punch 1. So... That looks to me like it could be a really good book. I did think, I did thought I had, yeah, I swear I had a um, Infinity book around here somewhere. Oh, no, hang on, no, that was the, yeah, that was the level 30 one I did. That was the one I was saving up for. It kind of gave me punch one as well, which is a, it's a bit weird. But uh, I'm going to get on with pricing uh, for a bit, and then I'll come back to kind of sort this out. Because I've noticed something with shops like this. Put the payment in, blur like that, uh, sign or something goes down, not into the hopper, into a chest below. 
literally just said, that's all you got to do, and you robbed it. You know? I'm not saying anyone will rob it, but I think what I'm going to do is make that go really, really far down, and maybe possibly do a, like, a ice tunnel or water tunnel to my base. Now, that might be a bit of a big deal, a bit of a big job to do as well. Uh, I probably won't do that on camera or in this episode. That'll be an off-camera jobby. Got another idea as well to add in some kind of um, detector on how many people are coming in. Uh, I put some fresh plates down because uh, zombies kept breaking the door. So if they step on that, it'll open. They shouldn't break it unless they're touching it like that. I'm actually walking forward now. But if they're, if they're like that, they should be able to get through and, uh, you know, not break the door down. So what my idea is basically to have a dispenser underneath the block that this is on facing down. So say that block is that block, it'll be facing down into a hopper so every time someone comes in it will activate the pressure it activate the um the dispenser which will put an item into a hopper and then i can just look in the hopper to see how many items are in there and see the average amount of people that are coming in and out i mean obviously people can come over here and like spam it but i'm just hoping people won't do that i was going to keep that secret but i thought i might as well tell you because that's quite a cool thing to do i think i should be able to do that but the redstone might slightly clash with that so yeah, I'm going to uh, finish off the prices, and then I'll see you when I start building the uh, the people counter, I think I'm going to call it. Okay, so I have just finished doing all the chests and all the labouring, labour, labouring, labour, labouring, labouring, labelling. oh my god, for the chests. Um, I think I pretty much got them all, s oh my god, that was a throw and a half, wasn't it? Have I got any arrows? I do. Wow, you can't get me, can you? Noob. Come on. There we go. So yeah, I've labelled all the chests to what I think is uh, is a reasonable and good price. And I was thinking, I need some hoppers for um, the payment thing. And I've been in the spawn area for about two to three hours. So, what? No, no, I'm sorry, I refuse to accept that. How near do you have to be to this thing? Yeah, how near do you have to be for this to work? I thought there'd be well loads in there. There's three. This thing definitely does work. Oh my god. I thought I was going to have like two stacks in there. That'd be well good. Okay, I'm just going to have to do some AFK in there. So I'll quickly run back over here. And actually, while I'm going back, I'll say uh, if in the last clip, if you heard some weird like do 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 noise, that was because my phone was right next to my microphone. Which is like one of the rules of YouTube <laughs> that you should never do because phone signals are stupid like that. So let's see if I can remember how to build a dispenser. I'm probably going to fail at this and people are going to cry and get really annoyed. Nope. What is it? Dispenser. Oh, okay. I actually got it right. Because I know a dropper is kind of similar to that. And I'm at, I remember doing that. Um, hang on, wait. I could have used... Oh, damn it. I could have used a... Oh, no, nah, that's all right. I could have used a dropper. It would have been cheaper. But so, you know, we crafted them now. So, we need... All right. Sorry about that quick cut there. Um, my mom came into my room. So, I couldn't have ignored her. That would have been very nice, would it? So, yeah. The problem is having a dispenser. Just under that block. So what I think I'm going to do is just have to somehow incorporate the redstone into this somehow. So what I'm going to do is, I believe, I'm going to go like this. Yeah, like that. That'll look pretty good. Uh, it's lucky that I've actually built this too thick. It was going to be about three feet thick, which I should have done really. But um, let's just go with this. So there'll be one there, and then there'll be one. Let's see. So the door will be under that one. Then that is where the other one should be. So let's put the dispenser there. I think I'm going to try and keep them separate. Or should I do it combined? You know what? I think I might do it separate. Because that might lead to some more uh, some, some more testing. Or not testing. Some more interesting results. You know, people that are coming in maybe. And end up pearling out. People that are just spamming the door. Zombies that are touching the entrance. Because, yeah, actually, yeah, that's a good idea to separate them out. So I'm just going to make this place look a bit more prettier. Uh, and then add a hopper into there, and then a hopper into this hole. And I think I've got enough iron on me. Damn it. I don't. Okay, uh, let's quickly run out to the end of the chest, and I'll talk while we walk. Oh, you hear it do it as well. Actually, I might just put some notebooks there as well, so it covers up the dispenser, so people... Whoa! So people don't realise it's there. Um, yeah, you may have noticed that I have a new intro. That was made by Only If You Played FX. Uh, only if you play D with a D and E-D on the end. Uh, he's also known as Craft File. He's on the server. He was on earlier, but he left. There he was. 
Um, and he, being the kind person that he is, made everyone a, or everyone on, that wants one on the server, a free intro. Which is really cool, and I did tell him what I wanted. I said, could I have my head rolling in, or like jumping in, and then my body coming to chase it, or something like that. And I thought I was being really, really tricky with the things I wanted. And a couple of days later, he just kind of sent me this file. I thought, oh god, has he done it right? Has he done it how I want it? And I, he did it, and I looked at it, and I thought... This is amazing. I'm so using this. So that I'm definitely happy with that intro and how it turned out. I think I may be slightly overrunning on this episode. I'm not sure. I really don't keep track. So I need two of these. Whip it out and then get the iron. I've got a bit of iron as well because of uh, I went mining a couple of days ago. There we go. And you may have saw or may have seen the amount of um, uh, emeralds I have. That's the perks of having two massive pumpkin and melon farms. Um... On the server, the one at my base and the one over there. So this is pretty much done now. I'll show you the prices in a second. And possibly put a note block down, actually. And then put a load of blocks into the dispensers. So I'm literally just going to go like that. Then like that. And then put a torch in there. That shouldn't affect that in any way. Uh, put a block there to make it look nicer. And then what should we put in there? What should we put in there? Uh, I'm going to say two stacks of dirt in each. So one, two. And then... One, two, get rid of that ten. And then we make the note blocks. This is turned into a really redstone weird tutorial thing. This is what I like about Minecraft, is doing all the, the simple stuff, the simple redstone stuff. So how can I incorporate this into it? Will it I don't know if it would work if I did Oh no, hang on. Oh no, that's gonna need me to do some fancy stuff. I don't wanna do fancy stuff. You know what? No, screw the note blocks, I'll probably do that off camera and same with the uh, the water stream. To, uh, so we are done, and let me show you the prices up here. So we've got the ones down here that you've already seen. Uh, you've already seen those ones. I changed, uh, actually, no, you didn't see me change it, did you? So we've got knockback 1, 10 ingots, knockback 2, 15, sharpness 10, 15, projection, all, all projection books. I hope that makes sense. So that's that'll be projectile project, projection uh, and uh, ordinary projection. Uh, pro 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 Projection? Protection. I've actually written projection. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to redo that uh, later. So yeah, all of these ones are kind of the low level ones, 10 to 15. And then up here is the uh, the rare rare ones. So we've got Aquafinity for 20 and then 25 for Aquafinity 2. That may seem quite expensive, but they are really rare. So Feather Falling is exactly the same. And then this one's empty if I get any others. Uh, Smite 1, 15. Smite 2, 20. I think that's actually a pretty good deal. And then these ones will be the ones that have the renamed ordinary books in for the rare items. Um, and I will label that off camera. Something I've noticed as well to end off the episode. My bookshop is probably in the worst place compared to the beacon. So look, I've got speed I've got speed boost here. It's going to go down to four or three. Or there you go, five and go back up again. And then it's somewhere around here. I believe it's this block. Is it this one? Possibly. No, it's this one maybe. Where the beacon doesn't actually reach me. No, this one. So you're walking around the bookshop really quick. Yeah, it's this one here. This is the line where you don't actually get any speed boost. At all. Your speed boost just runs out on this line. Which kind of sucks a bit, actually. Because you you kind of come into the shop and you've got the speed boost. And then when you go up the stairs, you kind of lose it slightly. So literally, when I come to that block there, I get the boost back. <laughs> so people are going to be zooming in my shop. And then when they come to pay, they're going to get slowed down and speed back up again. Um... So yeah, that's actually, I've enjoyed this episode. This place looks pretty cool, actually. Let's get a little screenshot going on here. Oh my god, that looks pretty cool. Yes, look at that. That's awesome. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, leave a like and comment down below. Some feedback and stuff like that. Um, and subscribe so you never miss an episode in the future. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.